Welcome Aries to Daily Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do your um, mid-November reading. Um, this is going to be love reading and a short general reading um, that I do as well when I'm looking at career or finance um, space in our life. So um, Aries, let's do love reading first for you. Thank you. What's coming in towards Aries in love? Beautiful, we've got sun as the overall energy and we've got the most beautiful ace of cups. So you are manifesting with this magician a beautiful love, fully feeling love. There is a lot of emotion, you cannot hold this emotion, you really want to say something, express that. Um, there may be children involved as well. So maybe you are a person who has a family already um, separated and is joining with someone new or you are completely a single person and you are in love, you've manifested it and you just feel like da 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 <laughs> um, you basically um, this is five of swords I'm not to worry about this because this this is a the most positive card in tarot deck. We know that the sun will soften even the devil and even the the power of um the tower that can strike in our lives. Five of Swords generally um tells us about um fighting without paying attention to consequences um, picking up fights or essentially uh, sabotaging <clears throat> but here the card looks very different um, so the person is on the ground essentially surrendering this is how I see this card um, but I have, I have sun here, so I know that the way you feel now, you're totally overwhelmed with love. So either someone feels that towards you, either someone is totally overwhelmed with love for you, Aries, which is beautiful. Um, they have worked really hard to manifest it a long time as well. They may be Leo. They may be Virgo. Um, I have a feeling that if this is the energy of, of the person coming towards you with that beautiful love, such a genuine, overwhelming, wonderful emotion, pure love. Um, I think it just um, breaks them, not puts them down <laughs> in this sense that um, sweeps them off their feet essentially to the point that they surrender to, to, um, to that emotion. They will not be fighting, they will not be picking up a fight. I do not see that with this. And I'm, as I say, I'm not worried about that energy as a um, outcome card because we've got the sun so whatever whatever is making your person feel they, they, they just uh, submit themselves to you this is what I want to say and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it um, Aries what a gorgeous reading please let me know if you've just met someone or you were in love or you met someone and that person just completely um, 
does the right thing, says the right thing, and is the right, is the right person, not, not just words. Aries, let's do your general reading. That was short and sweet. Um, that was short and sweet. Let's see, Aries, mid-November general reading for you. Aries people, gorgeous. We've got Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Moon. And we have Five Priestess of the Overall Energy. So, um, Aries, you may have an Earth sign in your mix. You may work with this person. There is a huge deal of um, unknown about this person. You don't know much about this person. Um, the person doesn't reveal much. The person also, if you see, she's got mask, a mask. Aries, I don't... This is secret. This is privacy, this is um, intuition, and this is some hidden stuff. We will clarify the Seven of, seven of Swords. Um, so you have someone around you that may not necessarily show a lot what intentions they have, and if you work with that person you may not quite be able to pin them down and, and say whether they are friends or they can be trusted. Essentially, the Queen of Pentacles is a, 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 a type of person that you could trust and um, it's a solid person, it's a grounded energy, it's an earth energy. But there is a huge level of, of um, unknown. We have both the Five Priestess and the Moon. Um, let's check this one. Seven of Swords. This is the position of the card is in the past. So, maybe there was something in the past that left you, I have two of swords popping out, something in the past that, that left you have some gut feeling, maybe you have gut feeling about this person, you don't quite, you can't prove it, but you just have a feeling, okay, seven of swords for Aries, what is the seven of swords, was this sabotage or what was that? No way. Two of Swords. This is the card that I saw when I was shuffling here. Um, so, this is a stalemate card, but in this depiction, this person is just thinking, right? Dwelling. Okay, we've got a sun. Well, this wasn't really anything bad, I would say, with the sun. This card always helps me feel better about cards that may have some, may carry messages of, you know, some malicious activities. I don't think that was the case. Perhaps someone was undecisive about you, about working with you. Nevertheless, there is a Still, huge level of unknown. I I strongly feel that Aries, you are working with an Earth sign, and that person just keeps every keeps. Um, it's a very private person, so you can't really you don't know who they are. 
but they are a good person I would say um, if there was something that made you feel oh no they are not the type of person I would like to work with then know that this wasn't this was not this is uh, this wasn't a big deal um, their actions were w they were not malicious that's what I'm trying to spell out sorry babes um, this person is very intuitive this person I would say you gotta be careful <laughs> Aries because this person has a big sense like health this earth sign can read between lines I'm sorry this is how I see this <coughs> You are working with a psychic, Aries. I'm kidding, but what I'm trying to say is that you, you, you may have in your midst someone who is a very private and um, know that this person has good intentions, but that person keeps everything to themselves. They have, a, they are very intuitive. And I think uh, y you won't know for a long time <laughs> what's going on in them. But yeah, I cannot see anything malicious. Absolutely not. Um, Aries, if you resonate, leave me a comment. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the like button and um, I'll see you in a couple of days uh, Aries bye for now